Swaz for lie you pinheads. How the heck are ya? Let me guess, you rage quit Warframe after Steel Path was released because you found out that some of your favorite YouTuber builds are garbage? Well, I am here yet again to save the day. No but seriously, Steel Path is definitely not any kind of end game. Or even really difficult to begin with. However, it does bring a new dynamic to your play style and forces you to consider things more carefully. If you find yourself struggling with Steel Path, or perhaps you are just curious as to which Warframes will be the best choice for easy mode Steel Path, then this video is for you. I determined this list based on how effective but also how fun these frames are to play on Steel Path emissions. You can play and defeat Steel Path with any Warframe, sure, but the frames on this list all are simply more fun and more or less, more effective for Steel Path. Let's begin by going through each faction and at the end, I will tell you which frames will destroy all factions because they do not give a shit. Just like your daddy. So let's get on with it. First off, Infested. These assholes are a laughable joke at best. The only real threat they pose is being annoying with the fucking infinity grappling and more ancients spawning them groupies at a 50 cent concert. <laughs> Since infested are a faction we can hardly take seriously as they are today, I will disregard them as a faction. However Ember will have a field trip with them. So then, let's get on with it and look at Corpus. So far, I have found a Spaghetti Aids Nidus to be surprisingly fun against Steel Path Corpus. Using the Augment Larva Burst. This argument allows you to recast that gross spaghetti ability and deal toxin damage. Which is a damage type that the corpus units really do not get jiggy with at all. Infinite crowd control in clusters where you can prime the enemies with any damage type you may desire is this build's main game. Very engaging and requires some tactics. Just like all builds on this list. Next corpus killer, Saren. Saren, is undeniably a formidable adversary. She deals mainly viral, toxin and corrosion damage and status types. Which are all pretty annoying if you are a corpus unit. Especially when you synergize those abilities properly. That's about it for corpus murderers that are fun to use. Time to hit up Grenier peasants. Since Grenier have a completely different way to protect themselves from death, your strategy will also have to adapt accordingly. The first Dimension Warframe that is really good at killing Grenier is again, Saren. Arguably even more deadly to Grenier than she is to Corpus. Grenier's main line of defense is armor, which Sarni strips down severally. Effectively making the enemies a lot more squishy to begin with. When played right, Saren is very enjoyable and versatile to play. And definitely a nightmare for Grenier scum. Next up. Ash. Yes. You hear correctly. Ash, the one single Warframe that puts the ninja in this so-called Space Ninja game. For Steel Path specifically, a Tank Blade Storm Ash will bring you the most joy. Short bursts of invisibility to make Blade Storm cheaper, opting into the Blade Storm animation to pick up energy orbs as the drop from slain enemies. This build is a little tricky but works quite alright when executed beautifully. Sure. Thanks to the nature of how Blade Storm works, this could in theory also be used against Corpus and Infested. But, Corpus have annoying nullifiers and Infested have bothersome ancients which will all cock block this build like a mofo. That is why it is best against Grenier. Moving on. Jalapeno Ember. Even though Ember is without a doubt, effective against Infested, Grenier is where she truly shines. Ember can with very little effort, completely strip all enemy armor which will make them about about as tanky as a wet t-shirt. She will also make enemies in general more susceptible to incoming damage. The more the enemies withstand her fiery purgatory, the better since enemies on fire contribute to her passive buff. So for Steel Path Grenier especially, Ember is a goddamn nightmare and very fun to play. 
Next Warframe that is pretty good for Steel Path Grenier. Nex. There are two types of Nex haters out there. The ones that simply do not like her abilities and the ones who claim Nex is a bad frame because they hate to admit that they just suck ass. Nex may not be the strongest solo artist on this list but by god does she put a beating on a Grenier. With her second ability, Nyx reduces Grenier armor to fuck all and makes them way easier to pulverize. On top of that, you can keep the enemies confused forever and disperse aggro from you. Which makes her more survivable. Sure, against Corpus Nyx will also strip away their shields to have the same effect of squishiness but the nullifiers will screw with your crowd control and ultimately kill you. There you go. Next up. Nuzzy the Impaler. Nuzzy can certainly deal with all steel factions decently. In fact, the only reason I classify him to be a Grenier killer, is the fact that he deals fire damage and increases damage toward enemies. Exactly like Ember does. Impale the poor bastards that step into your range and then throw the frisbee of blazing death at them as if you were at a dog park. You will need the augment, reaping chakram to really unlock the hurt for steel path. With that, your hula hoop of doom becomes way more deadly. And you will have more energy and health than you need. Pretty straightforward. Moving on to the next Grenier Slayer. The Protein Shake Ball Fondler. Pro Tap. Now this might come as a surprise to some of you but yes, the Queen of Balls is actually pretty damn effective as patiently against Steel Path Grenier. Remember a few weeks back, when everyone was complaining she cannot deal damage and is useless. Allow me to officially say, go fly a kite. Pro Tap can do some decent crowd control and help reduce the damage you have to tank to almost zero. More importantly though, she is perfectly able to keep up with killing every Grenier scumbag in her way. Mainly thanks to fire damage that will reduce armor and make enemies easy to kill. She can also self-sustain decently with her little weird-ass alien cabbage that she stole from Wisp for sure. At the time of uploading this video, I do not yet have a git on her but depending on how far in the future you are watching this, I may have done one by now. Just use the YouTube search bar and type, Ashi Sogi something. Something being whatever it is you are looking for. If I've made a video on the topic, that is how you will find it. Or just come to one of my streams when I happen to be on Warframe and ask me for the fucking build. Now then, those were just about all class specific killer war frames. Now it is time to introduce you to the elites. These next few war frames are the ones I have determined to be effective against all steel path factions no matter who they are but also really fun to play. On a side note, all of the builds I am using on all of these frames are the same builds you can find on my how to not be a shit war frame guides. So far, I have only slightly altered two of them to match the steel path needs. In due time, I will make videos about those changes so you can adjust the builds you stole from me. You're welcome. First up on this list of everything killer war frames. Nova. Nova is hands down one of the best war frames in the game. With her fourth ability she slows down the entire map, thus reducing aggro. At the same time she makes enemies take way more damage than usual. Both of these traits are amazing for synergy reasons. It complements her tankiness. But the true ace for steel path that she holds up her sleeve is her insane nuke bomb ball. Cast her two toward a group of enemies, shoot at the ball to load up its damage to its maximum potential. Then relax and enjoy the light show. This ball has one of the highest damage potentials of any ability in the game and will reduce any large cluster of enemies to nothing but pretty particle effects that Steve and I can fangirl over. In fact it is so powerful, that it might melt your shitty laptop. Just a heads up. Next, Mag. Oh come on, don't look at me like that. We both know Mag was going to be here. Though to be fair, Mag is a bit of a cheater here. Especially if you build her with a little more range than usual, you will find that she will survive most cases. But the on steel path, killing takes a higher priority. And that is one of Maggie's specialties. Using the right weapons and builds to fire into her bubble of trouble, will decimate everything and anything caught inside it. 
I have a video dedicated to which weapons work really well with her bubble. Go check that out if you need it. Next up. Mesa. This should not surprise anyone. We all know that Mesa is perfectly capable of killing everything. By slightly altering her peacemaker build to fit the enemy faction you are trying to kill, your Mesa will do so in a glorious bullet storm. Having a high amount of survivability also doesn't hurt. That's all to be said here. Next chosen one. That kinky bitch Cora. When it comes to whipping one's hair back and forth, one would think that Willow Smith is number one. Sorry girl, it is actually Cora. This Warframe in the right hands with a decent build is probably one of the most devastating Warframes to date. Easy and cheap large area crowd control, a tanky thick ass, a savage pussy and a whip that cracks so hard it makes Jesus twitch in the heavens. So there I was, they'd just beaten me senseless. As long as you apply the correct elementals with your melee, Korra will delete everything that Steel Path will throw at you in a brutal but satisfying way. In my opinion, all enemies killed by Kinky Kori should drop triple credits because they should have to pay for the good time with Korra. But that's just me. Moving on. If you have been watching my shitty content for longer than a few weeks, then this next one might surprise you a little. Excalibur Umbra. No, me and Excal are still not friends. I still do not like him. However, in light of that fucking monkey Wukong and that soggy water balloon Grendel, I must say Umbra is looking way more appealing to me these days. With a minor tweak in his build, you can make him suitable for surviving and mainly killing absolutely every faction's unit in the game. Hell, he is even kinda fun to play on Steel Path because the enemies don't just die like a fly getting shot by a hydrogen bomb. Again, the builds I presented to you guys in my how-to guides, are the same ones I am using for Steel Path. I know I know, the foresight is incredible. You may consider me your prophet. I don't care. On a side note since we are talking about Excalibur and stuff, I would like to say something to Ray Talias, Izzy, Nexorai and everyone else who gifted me Excaliburs during my streams. Screw you all. There is a special place in hell for you. I mean, look at this shit. 86 Excaliburs. Disgusting. And next, before you try to pipe up and plead your innocence, I'm going to have to tell you to shut your ass up. You gifted me Grendel. Which means you are even worse than that scrub Talius. Okay now let's continue with the list. Now for the last savage everything killing Warframe on this list before I get to the dishonorable mentions is, Baruch. I suppose I do not need to explain anything here. Keanu Reeves here has the highest damage reduction potential in the game and thanks to his boot up on thingy augment, he basically kills everything easily. When we are talking about Steel Path Easy Mode, Baruch might be number one depending on how you rate it. Also I am going to call it right now, I would not be surprised if many of the Warframes mentioned here would get nerfed sometime in the future for being too effective on Steel Path. Wanna bet? Now then, that concludes the list. But there are three more dishonorable mentions I will drop here in the end. I say dishonorable because these next three frames are incredibly cheesy or just completely boring to play. Octavia, Wukong and, Revenant. Octavia is by far the most potent killer for Steel Path but sitting in a corner while spamming Crow to stay invisible all day is not only insanely bitch ass but also mind numbingly dull. Revenant is really good at not dying. That's it. If you want to kill everything though, you can only do it with his cheesy one-shot build. Which, again, is boring and very limiting. Wukong. I'm not even going to bother talking about that tape. Fuck him. Now as I said, my builds work just fine with few exceptions that need minor tweaks. In a near future I will be making videos on those tweaks for you guys. And this list is based mainly on solo play and level of enjoyment. So if you do not agree with some of the frames on this list then go suck an egg. Now like and subscribe to this shitty channel, and fuck off.